<laughs> we have here a Pinarello X3 size 49 weighing 20 pounds, four ounces and kilos. 9.10 kilos. Stay tuned after video where your free up buy sign us on those Fulcrum reels right there. Hey, how's it going, everyone? GC Performance here back with another video. And today I have for you guys the Pinarello X3 in a size 49. This thing comes in at right at $5,200 and comes equipped with a SRAM rival wireless group set on there. Again, I know what you guys are probably thinking GC Performance, don't you work out? It's only a 20 pound bike. And guys, enough of it, all right? We're all grown men here. And some of us have forearm deficiencies, okay? So I try my best to lift this thing but this is part of their endurance lineup. Now we will get into this bicycle in just a second, but I want to talk to you guys about all the features of what makes this Pinarello X series their endurance model. So about the Pinarello X series, it's a little bit different from their F series. Their F series is their full on race kind of fit dynamic bicycle. You want the best of the best, you go with the F series lineup. But for those other people, if you guys have ever seen those Pinarello Dogma Fs built up with like the really high head tube spacers and the really high head tube stack, this is where the Pinarello X series comes into. They have an X3, an X1, an X7, and now they're even gonna have their Dogma X edition that's gonna be coming out very soon, which I'll have a video on that pretty quickly. But what this bicycle does is it takes the traditional geometry of what you know and love from the Dogma F, and they make it just a little bit shorter and a little bit taller to accommodate to it. And to be honest with you, it doesn't look that endurancey at all. It still kind of holds that nice race kind of look bicycle characteristics to it. So what they do to achieve this, they give it a little bit shorter reach. It's 1.3 millimeters shorter in reach from the seat to the uh, handlebars. And also they make it more taller, a taller head tube on there. It's 33 millimeters higher as well in the head tube. So it's not a crazy amount of height on there, but it's just enough to make it comfortable for the rider. They have a wide enough tire clearance there with a 32 millimeter seat, uh, 32 seat tire on there as well, just to give you that extra comfort if you wanted to. But then, like I said, it still has the onto fork in the front. It has this kind of nice rear seat stays on here, this nice onto bend, which is supposed to give you a little bit more compliance as well. They say it's just about 22% uh, more vertical compliant than the Dogma F series as well. So you get this, you can see how the seat kind of has a setback and it's a little bit over the rear stays. So they say while riding, you're not gonna get that vertical stiffness as you would on the Dogma F. And you'll be just a little bit more compliant on that X series bicycle. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into everything that comes equipped on this Pinarello X3. You can even see that top tube right there, it does have a little bit of that top end bend to it, similar to the Greville, but they add those characteristics to help with the vertical compliancy. So starting off with the handlebars on here, you're gonna get a lot of their most equipment on here. So we have a most Jaguar Aero handlebar, nice flat top to give you a little bit more ergonomics for comfort. Alloy bar, alloy stem with the most stem as well. And you have their similar spacer system on the Dogma F that you would get on the Dogma, or sorry, on the Pinarell X. The cables are integrated, so the brake uh, houses are running through the handlebar, through the stem, down integrated to the frame, and all the way throughout the entire bicycle on there. Uh, with the system on here, you have the most Pinarell uh, grip bar tape on there, and then you have a SRAM axis wireless shifting system on there, 12 gears in the rear, two in the front, and it's the rival shifting system. They also make this bicycle in a 105 Di2, or the rival because it is their SRAM counterpart. Going down to the front of the bicycle, we do have the Pinarell logo, and this is their black and red color, which look at the red. It has this nice sparkle to it. It looks gorgeous. You have a beautiful Pinarell logo going down the middle of it, which looks gorgeous as well. Nice wide flare out for the fork, again, to accommodate that 32 c tire. And then for the wheels on here, they pair this thing with a Fulcrum 800 racing wheel set, which is an OEM wheel on here. It's about 33 millimeters in depth. You can't buy this wheel aftermarket. It only comes stock on this bicycle. It's a little bit more on the heavier side, but it can accommodate a wider tire. And uh, you nice get that little bit more of that arrow look on there. The internal rim width on this thing is 19 millimeters. A lot of people probably prefer it a little bit wider nowadays, with a mod, especially with a modern bicycling. It comes with a Pirelli P7 tire, a 700 by 28 C tire, but it is going to be a tubeless ready tire. Going down to the frame again, like I mentioned, you do have all the writings on here. It is a T600 series carbon, going to be a little bit more of a compliant series, also going to be a little bit heavier, but it's going to make it so it's going to be a little bit more absorbent to those vibrations. You have the X logo right here, you have the UCI sticker right here, you have the Onda for the front fork, which gives you those bends, similar to the Onda in the rear as well. Pinero logo located on top, you have an integrated seat wedge system that has a max of six newton meters right here for this bolt right here to clamp down on your integrated seat posts. 
Going down to the crank system on here, usually with all endurance bikes, it doesn't matter what company it is, it usually comes with a compact crank. So on here, this does the exact same thing. This is a 46 by 33 tooth SRAM Rival dub ch uh, chain ring on here. It is power ready. If you wanted to go ahead and upgrade this with a dub power meter crank, you can do so. And then you have two spots for water bottle cages right here and right here. You do also have options for junction boxes and campy uh, junction boxes right there. For the bottom bracket on this bicycle, it's going to be Italian threaded because this is an Italian bike, Italian bike. So it is an opposite direction of threading, but it still is a BSA Italian threaded bottom bracket with a SRAM dub BB. You do have the SRAM front derailleur axis rival front derailleur right there, SRAM rival chain, and then also the SRAM rival rear cassette as well. Probably gonna come equipped with a 1033, again for that compact gearing. SRAM rival rear derailleur, missing the batteries on here, minus the weight. And then for the, the wheel itself, it's the exact same wheel as the front. It is their Fulcrum Racing 800 series race wheel. Uh, again, a little bit on the heavier side, but a 33 millimeter of depth on here to accommodate it. A very quiet free body in here. I mean, that thing's dead quiet. You can't even hear it. But you guys will get a free body sound test on it at the end of the video. Going over to the rotor size, they come with 160 millimeter front and rear rotors in the SRAM Rival Edition. Fulcrum Racing Wheels have the one of the jankiest, I'll just call it that, the jankiest systems for the uh, center lock on here. If you ever try to change these out, these center lock rings for these rotors are a pain in the butt and they usually only work for Fulcrum. Um, but yes, you also have your proprietary uh, Pinarel skewers right here, which is pretty nice. This bicycle can be made DI2 as well, which you can see right there for that front relay cable. And then going up to the seat post, this is a fully proprietary integrated seat post carbon fiber with a paired along with the most saddle. Nice short nose saddle, nice wide cutout, and you have a lot of support right here for the seat as well. But if you're looking to get into a endurance bicycle and you want that nice high class panel name that everyone knows and loves, uh, this bicycle is a very nice option, especially coming equipped with a SRAM rival group set. Everyone's going to say for $5,200, they would think that this bicycle should come with a pair of carbon fiber wheels. This I do agree with. I would assume that you should at least get a pair of like vision wheels. I know that most is working on vision. I'd like to see this bike at 5,500 bucks with a pair of carbon fiber wheels. I definitely think it's doable, but to drop 5,200 bucks on a bicycle and not have any kind of carbon wheels, it's starting to get kind of a, kind of frustrating, especially when you kind of drop this kind of money. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you guys are interested in this bicycle, they do have it over at Bike Science here in Pompano Beach, Florida. I'll put a link to their bicycle store. They do have this bicycle in stock, and you'll see a lot more of these Pinarel X's on the market very soon. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Here comes a free or buy sound test on these Fulcrum 800 series racing wheels right now. That's about as loud as they get there, folks. All right, guys, that's going to do this for the video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.